The first lesson has to do with giving money to godly ministries. So giving money to ministry, and the lesson that we learn from this text about that is this, is that giving money to God's work must be free from regret and guilt. The Lord is far more concerned with our motivations than he is with our resources. He doesn't really care how much money you have in the bank, but he does care an awful lot about what's in your heart. Giving money to God's work must be free from regret and guilt. Here's the lesson is that God gives us all that we need to accomplish his purposes. Every single thing that we have at our disposal has been given to us by the Lord and he has supplied every believer with all that we we require to participate in the glorious work of the gospel. God gives us all that we need to accomplish his purposes. If we do that, that will lead us to something very important. It will lead to something very important. The apostle shows us that in verses 11 and 12. He shows us that the goal of giving to the work of the Lord is the praise of God. Worship is much more than an activity that believers do once in a while. If the only time you're thinking you're worshiping is when you come to this place to sing songs and listen to a sermon... That is not the whole of worship. That is certainly worship. We're worshiping today. And we need to be here. We need to be exalting God. We need to be sitting under his word. But worship is more than that. It's the whole of life. And the goal of giving is the praise of God. That brings us to one more important lesson from this text. This one is so good for our souls. It is good for keeping us humble. It is good for keeping us thankful. It is good for reminding us that we, no matter what our station in life is, we are a people in need. Here's the lesson. Christians have received far more than they could ever give. What the Lord has given us in Christ is beyond measure. And so it is foolishness to think of giving to God as some kind of repayment plan. It is instead the result of the overflow of God's never-ending grace in our lives. Christians have received far more than they could ever give. 